welcome in, welcome in. We're going to be shipping out some weekend orders. I think I have 31 total orders to ship out this weekend. And I still have to ship out all of the whatnot orders too. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Welcome in. Wait for everybody to hop on in and then we'll go ahead and get started. Um, I hope I can get all of these shipped out on this live. I don't think I finished my Mercari shipping yet. So I might have to skip a couple orders, but that's okay. Welcome in everybody. Go ahead and get started. Let me swap this over. Got everybody all fired up. Ready to go. What's up, Jen? Welcome in. Let's get everybody. Welcome in. Everybody on TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. If you're watching this, wherever you're watching this, make sure you like the live. All that good stuff. And then we'll go ahead and get started. 30, 31 orders, I believe, this weekend on eBay Poshmark Mercari. eBay Poshmark Mercari. I actually sold more on Mercari than Poshmark this weekend, which is pretty cool. What's up, Lily? Welcome in. Good morning. How's everybody's sales this weekend? Let me know in the chat how your sales were. All that good stuff. What's up, Trisha? What is up? What is up? We hopping on in. What's up, IG? Welcome in. Good morning, NP. Good morning. Good morning. All right. <clears throat> Casey's here over on YouTube. What's up, Casey? I sold the pet rock for 26 bucks. Let's go. Still doing that Macari thing. Yes. Tokyo. Yes. Yes. Tokyo. How is, uh, where are you at? France, Paris, one of those? You're in a fancy place. That's all I know. Uh, I think I found a Ralph Lauren factory. Seconds. The stitching is weird on the seams. Hmm. I'd have to see it to know what it is. Two sales. What's up, Megan? Nice. Welcome in, everybody. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to do um, Mercari first, and then we'll do Poshmark, and then we'll finish off with eBay sales. So first sale we're going to do is this Janu. Um, it's new with tags. Janu medical jacket. Pick this up for um, $28. It sold or it picked this up for $7.47 at a Goodwill. Sold for $28. Uh, buyer paid shipping on this too, so profit on this is twenty four eighteen. Really, really good sale. What's up, Spencer? Uh, this was my biggest sales weekend for me. Nice, and that means uh, tax money. Tax money is probably hitting most people. That's that's what that probably means. Only fifteen sales here. Had the stomach flu. Ouch, Lily. Hopefully you're feeling uh, better. Didn't list at all. Hopefully you're feeling better. But the good thing about the stomach flu is you lose a little bit of weight. It's only best. That's the best thing about getting the stomach flu. But hopefully you're feeling better. Drop a couple pounds, puke it all up, and feel good the next week. All right, this one is going on Mercari. By the way, I switched over Mercari. Now I'm charging shipping on Mercari. So, yeah, it's actually working out better. Um, yeah, it's working out better. So let's go. That is pretty, pretty good. Um, all Pretty much all my newer listings on Mercari I'm charging shipping on because shipping on Mercari dropped recently and it makes more sense to just charge shipping because it's not going to you know charge crazy shipping to your buyer. So, um, All right, next up we have a pair of Lululemon black pants. Um, pick these up for $4.27. These sold for $27. So after fee shipping costs goods, I make a profit of $25.53 on these. 25 actually that's wrong i think we have to take out we took out put in shipping on those don't put in shipping on those bam okay profit on this is 18.54 made a mistake on that um what's up amy how do people like to pay for shipping um i don't know but i'll take it because it makes me more money in the end when they pay for shipping what's up little denny welcome in i have a little announcement to make since we have a lot of people here i might as well make this announcement now so i just got off a call um in the morning, I was reached out to last week by none other than Mr. Gary V, and he wanted to set up a call with me. So he had a person from his team this morning set up a call, and I just talked to him for about 15, 20 minutes. So that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, Gary V reaching out to me and was like, hey, I want to set up a call with you. I'm going to set you up with one of my team members, blah, blah, blah. Well, what is that? So let's go. Yeah, that is pretty cool. So. Uh, a couple things were said and we might be working on some stuff in the background. So that's that's pretty cool um, I had a big smile on my face when that happened. He still doesn't follow me back on what is this new? He still doesn't follow me back on IG though. So I'm gonna have to work on that. But that was pretty cool A little cool way to start the start the week is a uh, little we'll, we'll talk with somebody from Gary V. So yeah I'm gonna start selling coffee mugs now. I gotta talk to him about that. I get what he's saying about that But yeah coffee mugs shout out to uh, shout out to mr. Gary um, next up, 
chubby shorts really good we um i sell chubby shorts so well we've actually been selling these on whatnot and people have been paying really low for these i mean they've been paying 11 12 13 bucks this one sold for 29 dollars, and these always sell within a week for me made a profit of 18 19 on these don't forget us about us little guys no i'm not i'm never gonna forget about you guys that's that's who got me here can i have your autograph now no no but that was pretty cool um to wake up this morning and have a have a little combo with uh one person from Gary team. He's a younger dude. Um, his name is Zach. Uh, we had like a 20 minute convo. He just wanted to get like the background information on me and all that stuff. And uh, I might be going to VCon. Maybe we'll see. That would be pretty cool to go to VCon. But yeah, um, we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. No promises yet. But that'd be cool to make a YouTube video at VCon um, as a reseller. So yeah, um, I'd rather have Kalos autograph. Yeah, that's 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 facts. That's facts. Um, next up, we got a Grayson shirt. This is a really good brand to be on the lookout for. It's a women's brand. Um, pick this Grayson shirt up for $28, but I haven't done the shipping yet on this because this is one of the previous listings before I started charging shipping. So this one I have to do after live, but it sold for 28 bucks. Uh, we paid uh, $747 for this one, $747, and I have to put that in really quick. And uh, so profit on this, after I pay shipping, it's gonna be somewhere around $10-ish because it's gonna cost about $6 ship. But I gotta do that one after live because I haven't made it. True celebrity, yes, yes. Other people oh, I already answered that. By the way, what's up, IG? Yeah. Appreciate you guys, everybody saying, wow. Yes, everybody on IG, you guys know Gary V because he puts out a lot of content over on IG too. Shout out to me. Shout out to Gary. That was that was a pretty cool way to start the start the week. Um, next up, only Poshmark sale is going to be this Brooks Brothers shirt. Um, this is a Brooks Brothers, and it does have the logo on the front. That's why we pick these up. If it doesn't have the Brooks Brothers logo, I don't pick them up. Um, paid four twenty eight. This one sold for twenty three bucks, which means the fees are four dollars and sixty cents. So that means I made a profit of fourteen dollars and twelve cents. And this one sold within a week, uh, or not within a week, within a month for us. So. Yeah, Brooks Brothers. What's up, Liv? Welcome in. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome in, welcome in. KitKat, pin that comment. KitKat, I already read that comment. That was that was a not so funny comment, okay? By the way, we are gonna have a shoe show sometime this week, so if you guys are waiting on shoes, a full shoe show should happen um, sometime this week. I'm thinking probably tomorrow, because today we still gotta do a lot of shipping, and I do wanna put out some content today, so yeah. Newbie here, what's up? What app uh, do you use to determine profit? Right now, I'm actually using a spreadsheet. It's called, uh, it's a reseller in the community. His name is Jason Hayes. He made a reseller spreadsheet. I have it linked in my bio if you want to purchase it. Um, you do get a discount. I think it's 10% off if you use my discount code Kway Shop. But um, that's the one I'm using. So you put in all of your prices, your fees, your cost of goods, and it gives you your profit and total fees after every transaction. And then it keeps up with your daily, monthly, and yearly totals. By the way, Chad, I have another announcement. This is two announcements in one live. Um, so, wait, this one's already printed out. Why did you not put that in? Oh, never mind. Hold on. We do print this Grayson. Or we do ship this Grayson. She already has the label for it. Um, let's, let's talk about this first, and then we'll talk about the other announcement. So, how much did you pay? How much did you pay for what? For what? So, a pair of Judy Blues $5 pickups sold for $31.50 plus ship. Let's go. Morning, Danita. Welcome in, everybody. Everybody's hopping in. Welcome in. Nice Monday. Nice Monday. It's a little rainy here, but it's still nice outside. It's still nice. The last item. How much did I pay for the last item? The Brooks Brothers shirt. I paid $4.28. Sorry. I forgot to say that. $4.28. Sold for $23 on Poshmark. As you know, Poshmark buyer pays shipping. So yeah, profit on that was $14.12. And that one's shipped too. Um, last, last big announcement. Um, as of yesterday, as of our end of our show yesterday on Whatnot, um, actually, let me verify this really quick. Let me verify, because I'll be able to tell you exactly the number. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta fix my spreadsheet. Command C, Command V, Command V. Okay, so as of, let me see. I'm looking for the right line, okay. Let me see. See, let me see, let me see. Let me make sure this is right before I say it. Seven, five, seven, five, six, three, three point five one plus two, three, one, three, seven point one four. Okay, so as of yesterday's whatnot show, we did um, a little over sixteen hundred in sales. Um, 
So once I add that into the spreadsheet, we'll have officially hit 100,000 in sales for the first two months of this year. So that is great. Um, that's insane, actually. <laughs> uh, last year total, we did just under 300. So we've already done 100. And it's only two months into this year. So that means we're on pace to do around 600,000 this year in sales if we keep up the same pace. Obviously, once the challenge is done, we might slow down a little bit and then speed back up. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty cool to have hit that number already this year. Um, yeah, that's just, that's dope. That's that's awesome. So I'm posting on eBay and I'm up to 80 items. Um, should I um, get auto posture 80 items? Yeah, you can you can get auto posture. Yeah, auto posture should be coming out with a cross lister too. So you can use that. Um, in the future, if you decide to go that route, I'm still deciding which one I'm going to use. If I'm going to use list perfectly or auto posture, I got to see which one works best, but yeah, um, we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll let you guys know once it fully comes out, it still hasn't fully come out. There's just still rolling out new stuff. So, um, I have auto posture. What'd you say, Liv? Um, damn, should I, should I add eBay to my auto posture? What do you mean by that? Liv 300 K to one mil. Let's go. Will auto posture help you track your cost of goods? Yes, it will. It's just, um, when you when you cross list, it'll put your um, numbers into your actual listing, um, even if you copy it from another platform. It actually does that right now. If you do your inventory feature and you download your inventory, it has your cost of goods in there as long as it's in eBay and your custom SKU. So, uh, what's auto posture? It's a platform that um, right now it just delists and relists your inventory and shares on Poshmark. That's all it does right now. Um, if you will have a cross lister out, I'll let you guys know how I feel about the cross lister as soon as it comes out, but I don't have any opinions on it yet because it's not fully out. And I don't want to get people all hyped up on something that might not be as good or might be better than what I think it's going to be. So right now I'm just deciding not to talk about it until it's fully rolled out. So I'll use it for Poshmark. You should use it for eBay then. Yes. How'd you get started? Uh, what are the basics? I got started by buying, actually selling items in my house first. And I took that profit from that and I went out to a thrift store. I used a hundred dollars. I bought um, like a hundred dollars worth of stuff. And I started listing that and I rolled over all my profits into the business and tried not to take out anything until I grew it until I could quit my full-time job. That's what I did. Smoky mountain. What's up? Um, did you go? Yes, I did. Did go thrifting on Wednesday. That video is uploaded. I just have to upload it to YouTube. So I'm going to try to do that today. Today's going to be a content day. I'm going to try to, um, put out as much, much content as, as I can. Um, yeah, somebody got you in the comments, but I'll say it again. The spreadsheet that I use is linked in my bio. The link, um, it's Jason A's spreadsheet and it does have a discount code with it. It's a one-time charge, so it's not like monthly. Um, and there's a couple different ones there is. There's a creator spreadsheet and then just a regular um, reseller spreadsheet. Most of you will use the regular reseller spreadsheet because you're not a creator. Unless you're making money um, on Instagram or Facebook or YouTube, then you wouldn't really need the creator one. You just needed the regular one. So I hope that helps. Um, next up, uh, let's do some eBay orders. We got a, not a great sale right here. This is just a basic, I got this in a bulk buy. It's just an Adidas polo, paid $8.98, sold for 16 bucks. It's not a huge sale, um, kind of a basic sale, but it was in a bulk buy, so I decided to list it. Are you moving away from thrifting and more towards consignment and pallets? No, so none of my stuff is actually pallets. I get nothing from pallets. Um, I actually never have bought a pallet in my life. Um, no, I'm still going to be thrifting. We're still doing the um, whatnot shows. Um, I'm still going thrifting. I'm trying to go at least two days a week. Right now, we since we've been building the shows, we've been uh, building the shoe game. We've only been going like once a week. Uh, but once we get that up and going, and we're we're set, we're going to uh, we'll go back into the thrifting game because thrifting margins are always going to be better than retail margins 99% of the time because you're buying stuff for five dollars and you're reselling it for thirty. It's hardly ever a time where you can buy something for 50 retail and sell it for 300. That would be the same margins. So yeah, we're still going to do the um, thrifting game. I still love thrifting. So is there a reason why you don't um, do free shipping anymore? So I st um, actually, yes, there is. So shout out to my boy surfs up. He was actually over on Facebook or YouTube. I saw you earlier surfs. So what's up? Um, I looked at his store, um, Surf's Up. I, I met him a while ago. He was a really intelligent dude. Um, I looked at his store. I verified everything he said. That's what I highly suggest you guys do. There's a lot of, I've seen a lot of videos lately that have a lot of misinformation in them. And if you just go to the person's store, you'll figure out what they're saying is a lot of BS. So Surf's Up is one of those dudes that I went to his store and I was like, look, is this guy really selling Ralph Lauren for this price? I went, and he's, is he charging shipping on everything? And I went there and I saw his sales. I was like, absolutely he is. He has a ton of sales, a ton of shipping in there. I was like, this guy knows what he's doing. And I basically looked at what he was doing. I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it out and see if it works for me. And it 
did it and it started working. So I'm always learning. I'm, I'm not the end all be all. I will still take information from other people and apply it to my own business and see if it works. And he's one of those dudes. I took his information, applied it to my own business and it worked out perfect. So shout out surfs for a date. What's up surfs for a date. What does that mean? You're taking me out for a date. He's over on YouTube right now. He's, he's hiding over on YouTube. Everything I say is real. I buy full of pet rock for 26 bucks. <laughs> Uh, this shipped out for 562 by the way. Um, but you'll see older listings in my store. They all have free shipping still. I just didn't feel like going through and changing all those. But the newer listings, all of them are pretty much charged shipping on. Because, I mean, if somebody's willing to pay shipping on something and you're going to make more money and it's going to sell just as fast, you might as well charge shipping on it. Um, really good sale, by the way. By the way, we sold some of these on Whatnot for like 30 bucks. We, st we bring the best stuff to Whatnot. Even if it's selling for us, we'll still bring it to Whatnot and try to grow our Whatnot audience. This is a Peter Millar polo, but this is a tour logo polo, which means it has the hit on the sleeve. I paid a whopping $10.26 for this polo, and it sold for $89.99 plus shipping. Um, yeah, tour logo polos. Anytime you see the hit on the sleeve that says Peter Millar on it, that is a tour issued polo, and you want to price it higher. Um, you could probably surf the... Um, internet surf the ebays and find some of these listed super cheap because a lot of people don't know that those are tour logo polos um but yeah that one's a good sale right there i have some michael kors i bought for two dollars unfortunately i don't pick up michael kors i know a lot of people that's like the beginning brand that a lot of people mention they're like oh michael kors is that a good pickup most michael kors pieces are not a good pickup there's only a select few that are actually worth picking up um even if you buy something for two dollars Michael Kors will sit for a very, very, very long time. So that was a pre-owned polo. That was not in new condition. That was used and abused. No, it was actually in good condition, but it was used. It's going to ship for $4.43. Buyer paid $6.75. Um, did you make through the post office for the shipping label maker? Did you go through the post? No, I'm actually going through for... Wait, hold on. Um, the So I buy my labels on eBay to ship out my orders. So if that's answering question, that's the answer to that. To get the label maker, no, it's a Dymo 4XL. I do have one linked in my bio. It's called an IDPRT. It's in the products we use on a daily basis. That's linked there. So go feel free to go purchase one through Amazon if you want to. But no, you don't go to the post office for a label maker. Um, you can go to the post office and have your labels printed if you want. You can still buy them on eBay and then the post office can print them, but that's a long process. I like doing it from the house. And then I leave my packages outside and my mailman picks them up and takes them for me. Next up, we got an All Saints Hawaiian shirt. Picked this up for $18.73. This one only sold for $25 plus ship. It was a small size. I probably shouldn't have picked this one up. The other one sold really quick, but this one sat for a little bit. So I decided to just like take the money. Um, I only made a couple bucks on this, but got it in, got it out. Shout out Surf Up. I use Pirate Ship. Um, is that good for eBay? Yeah, you can use Pirate Ship. Some cases your labels will be cheaper. In other cases, it's the same, it's the same price. Um, but I just, I'd rather just do them on eBay cause it's quicker, um, to save a couple pennies, but take the time to go back and forth and figure out what, which one is the best. If I was on live doing that, you guys would get bored in like five minutes. Cause I'd be trying to figure out which one, which site has the best deal. I'd rather just do it all on eBay and get it done from there. Where do you thrift from? I thrift from a store. It's called red, white, and blue. I go there every single Wednesday. We do a live thrift here on, um, TikTok. We don't do it on Facebook and YouTube, but then I upload those to YouTube afterwards. So, um, Live thrifting is on Wednesdays, red, white, and blue. It's normally where you get most of my inventory. Um, I get a discount from eBay when I ship. Yes, everybody will get a discount. It's, you get the commercial rates when you ship on eBay. Um, if you ship through the post office, um, you will get the retail rates. I'm trying to think the word for it. Retail rates at the post office, commercial rates from eBay. You always get discounted. Can you go over what uh, specifications you need to pick up those Brooks Brothers shirts, which styles, whatnot? Yes, pretty much the Brooks Brothers shirts are the ones with the small little Brooks Brothers logos on the front. Those are the ones I pick up. They have to have the Brooks Brothers logo on the front. Otherwise, I don't pick them up. Um, I hope that helps. By the way, IG, is my feed like blurry? Um, Facebook and YouTube, is my feed blurry? Because it's showing my, my, my feed is blurry on my end. Um, it shouldn't be blurry unless it hooked me up to the wrong internet. That's the only thing because I have the I have the other. You guys should be good, but the other the other two might be a little blurry. Uh, what are the links for your shipping bags? That is also linked in my bio, Denise. If you go through my um, pin post, those are called gyro packs. So good on Facebook. Okay, cool. So it just might be blurry on my end. Um, gyro packs. Those are linked in my bio. You get 10% off if you use my discount code Kway Shop. Really, really good poly mailers. They're similar to the ones you buy on um, buy on. Um, um, Amazon. It's a, I think it's the same company. It's just a different, different, uh, 
a different way to buy them. Next up, Eileen Fisher. This is Eileen Fisher linen cardigan. Picked this up for eight hundred one. This one sold for twenty six dollars plus shipping. Odd but Grailed popped off for me. There you go. I've never sold anything on Grailed. How do you ship shoes? I ship them in a box. Ship them usually in a shoe box. Those shoes behind me. Bio on here, TikTok. Yes, bio on TikTok. That's how you get these poly bags. You can get them in all different colors. Um, I buy the nine by twelve. I think they are the nine by twelve bags. I think is the dimensions. Um, and again, if you use my discount code Kway Shop, you get ten percent off. Um, usually, you get that. Um, usually, that discount is ends up being cheaper than Amazon prices. If you're watching on TikTok, if you go to one of my old gyro pack videos, I'm probably going to come out with one again, so that way you guys can get a new link to them. Um, but you guys probably have discount codes here on. Um, TikTok, you can use the TikTok shop coupon and get them even cheaper. For example, um, um, shout out Ethan um, over at the Ethan Banks. He got um, he got his for a penny, so he had a twenty per twenty dollar coupon, I think it was, and um, he bought twenty dollars worth of product, so he only had to pay a penny plus shipping for a bunch of poly mailers. I'm only selling one to two a day. Do you think the post office worker will get annoyed with small door pickups? So, hey, it's Ape. I don't know where you live. I don't know if it's an apartment or if you live in a house, but if you only have two shipments a day, you can stick those in your mailbox if you have a mailbox. Put the flag up and the post office carrier 99% of the time will pick those up because they don't mind picking up in the mailbox. I know some are lazy and they don't want to go to your front door, but if you put them in your mailbox with the flag up, he'll take them. Unless you live in an apartment complex and then you know, doing a door pickup is a little bit harder. Some people are lazy. They don't want to go find where your door is. I understand that. So maybe at that point in time, you either take it to the office, you set up a pickup, like tell your office wherever you live at your apartment complex, like, hey, I got packages going out. I know the mailman comes to the front door every day and delivers the mail to you by hand. Maybe can I drop my packages off in the morning and can you give them my packages? That might be an option. It's a little bit risky because obviously if the worker doesn't do it, then you you don't get shipping on time, but that's an option. I've had, when I used to be a mailman, I used to have to pick up packages at an office for people who had packages shipping out. They just bring all their packages to the office. I pick them all up at that time. So that's something you can look into too. Um, bulk shipping. Um, they know it's, uh, I love to do the bulk shipping, the bulk pickup. Yeah. I actually don't fill out that sheet for pickups at all. I just put a note in my mailbox that says pickups at my front door. They know I have pickups every single day. So they just come to my front door at this point in time. Obviously if you don't ship out every day, you'd have to maybe do the bulk pickup, but I just would say, put a note in your mailbox with a flag up that says, Hey, there's packages at my front door. Typically the mailman will pick them up again. I know there's lazy ones out there. Um, I used to work with a bunch of them, so I understand how that works, but, um, yeah, I was never one of those lazy guys because I used to sell myself. So I was like, hey, if somebody has packages going out. That's one of the most important things for us to pick up as mailman because that's what actually pays the bills at the post office. So how's the shoe get going for you? It's going good. We haven't done another show with the restock. I'm pumped to do another show because we have a full restock. Mom was actually working on loading some of the shoes in today. So we have lots of new shoes ready to go for the next round um, over on whatnot. So if you haven't signed up yet, um, and you want some shoes really cheap, go get through the link in my bio, go get your free $15 over on whatnot. We start the shoes at 59. So you automatically get them down to 44 bucks for new shoes for 44 bucks, Nikes, Adidas, um, uh, New Balances, um, Converse, and then the one, one other brand we have, we have a lot. Um, I think we have some Merrells too. So go get your free $15. It's literally free money. This is not a gimmick. I'm not trying to scam you. I'm not trying to get your phone number or anything. It's literally what not telling you. If you sign up, we'll give you $15 for your first purchase. That's what it is. It's linked in my bio. Go get your free 15. Dunks are starting at 59 too. Yes, we have do have dunks on, on whatnot and all of them start. Everything starts at 59 except for con some Converse. The low top ones, we start at 49, but everything else starts at 59. Do you have an update? The update for the 130K challenge will come out on the 9th of this month. Every month we'll put out, put those out. Yeah, we have Dunks and we have Jordans. Uh, let me see. I've got a pair of Jordans back here. We got Dunks and we got Jordan 1 mids. These are men's and I have these all the way up from size 10 to, I think, 10 to 12. New in box. Brand spanking new in box. Dunks, we have a bunch of Dunks too. I don't have any near me. Um, but we do have dunks and we have ladies mids too. I don't think I've shown these yet. These just got loaded in today. Oh no, these are Air Maxes. Never mind. I thought those were the, uh, I thought those were the other pair. So are they authentic? Yes, they're hundred percent authentic. I don't sell fake shoes. I hate people that sell fake shoes. Um, I wear Yeezys and Jordans all the time. I hate people that say go out and buy fake shoes because 
if you're watching this and you buy fake shoes, whatever, but you can never resell those fake shoes for money. So they'll resell, but they'll resell for like 20, 30 bucks. Why not just invest in a pair that costs over a hundred dollars that you can resell for 70, 80 bucks and make most of your money back. That's my argument to those fake shoe wearers. Don't buy fake shoes, buy real shoes. But yes, everything is hundred percent authentic. Next up, we got a Tommy Bahama, this 100% silk shirt, long sleeve, paid $8 for this. Um, it sold for $22.99 plus ship. Facts, yes. I hate people that wear fake shoes. Fakes cost almost as much as the authentic. It's crazy, yes, and then you can't resell them. Um, it's actually illegal to resell them. You can't, you can't sell fakes anywhere. There's no website that would say, no, they're not consignment. The shoes are not consignment. Um, there's no website that says you can sell fakes here. I know people get away with it on Mercari, um, but yeah, you can't sell fakes. Uh, it's, a, it's illegal to sell fakes. Are you starting spring listings? Yes, we're actually bringing spring listings to our whatnot shows too. So we've been running a lot of short sleeves and stuff like that. So you'll see us start listing those too. We haven't started listing them um, on eBay yet. We're actually listing um, the trains. So you guys will see later in this live. I sold like nine trains this weekend that were just listed. So right now we're like in a train mood. Get all the trains that we have listed and then we'll start working back on clothing again. Um, I got a pair of fake Uggs, so annoying. Um, um, yeah, take it as a loss. You can't, you can sell, if you wanted to, you can sell them on Mercari. I don't think Mercari really cares. Um, it's kind of like the wild, wild west on Mercari for shoes right now. But personally, I don't like selling fakes. So if I get a fake pair of shoes, usually I just throw them away. I don't even redonate them um, because, yeah, they, they should be in the garbage anyway. Um, I have new shoes for my daughter. Um, Hucker, the best to sell on eBay. eBay, Poshmark, or Mercari are the three sites that I would say to sell those shoes on. So um, how do you decide what goes on Whatnot versus other platforms? Most of the Whatnot right now is all consignment. So if it comes in consignment, it's going on Whatnot anyway. We don't do any consignment on um, any of the other platforms. Um, but if it's a well-known high-end brand, that's those go on um, Whatnot. Lululemon, um, Athleta, Arcteryx, North Face, Patagonia, Cool, um, Polo Ralph Lauren with good prints on them. Those are all pieces that we bring to whatnot because they would sell really well on whatnot, get a decent margin for them. If it's a niche brand like Outer Known, or not Outer Known, um, Outlier. Outlier is not a brand that everybody knows, so I'd never bring that to whatnot. I would have to hype that piece up significantly to get it to sell. Um, Got to go. Appreciate you, Jared. Appreciate you hopping in. IG, I forgot about you. Hold on. Lagging like crazy? Am I lagging on IG? My bad. My bad, I can't help it. I don't know why IG is all blurry right now. Um, because every other every other platform is good. Next up, talking about short sleeves, it's a polo Ralph Lauren, just a simple green polo shirt. Picked this up for $4.28. It sold for $16.19 plus shipping. Nice little $10 profit on that one. Um, do you find that suits and blazers sell better? I sold a few last week. I actually didn't sell. Um, sold a few in the beginning of the week last week, but none since then. So yeah, I don't... Um, I don't, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Um, they probably do sell better because of Easter. So maybe in the next couple weeks they'll pick up, but yeah. Only new on whatnot. No, I sell pre-owned too. So our last couple shows, um, this weekend were all pre-owned clothing and we ran new shoes at the end of the show, but pretty much everything was pre-owned and they all went for good margins because we bring good brands. Please describe your whatnot. Is it a show? Um, how does it work? Yes. So first up, go through the link in my bio. Go get your free $15. It's a live auction website. So we start items at a dollar. Um, unless it's shoes, we start at 59 bucks. So all this weekend, um, our shows started at a dollar. Uh, we ran good brands, Lululemon, Patagonia, Cool, brands like that. You start those at a dollar and then you bid. So it's a live auction. You get to bid at the bottom. Um, and then when you feel comfortable, you stop bidding. And if you win the auction, then you get charged automatically. It charges to your card. Um, how shipping works is you pay for the, for the first pound, you pay $8.95. And then between one and five pounds, you get free shipping. So you pay $8.35. And then if you keep buying stuff, it's free shipping after that until you hit five pounds worth of product. So it's a lot of fun. Yes, it's linked in my bio. It's a free 15. It's not a gimmick. I'm not like trying to scam you or anything. It's literally whatnot saying, thank you for signing up. Here's $15 to spend on any live. You don't have to spend it with us. If you like Pokemon cards, people sell Pokemon cards there. If you like women's dresses, there's people selling women's dresses all day. There's probably like 50, 60, 70 shows up right now that you can go to and buy something from. But you get $15, you can spend absolutely free on whatnot. That is an affiliate link, so we do get a kickback for that. So not only are we giving you $15, you're also like helping us out too with our challenge and everything. So free money. You can't argue with free money. It's literally just sitting there for you to take. 
and it's not going to be around forever because whatnot can't be making a ton of money from giving out free $15 and also giving a kickback to the buyer. So what they're hoping for you to do is you go buy something and you really enjoy the experience and then you come back and you buy some more. That's their whole point um, for doing that. Next up, we got a pair of Rag and Bone. These are men's Rag and Bone jeans, paid $13.38. These sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Buyer was all in for $53 bucks for these. Free is my favorite word too. And it's easy to promote a free product. When I'm telling you guys you can get free money in my bio, a lot of people like that. It's hard to promote like, you know, list perfectly in auto posture because people have to spend money for this, but this is literally free money. You just pay 15, 15 bucks. A lot of the stuff on our auctions sell for $15. And then after that, you just pay 15, you get the free 15 and then you just pay shipping. That's it. Free money. Can't be that. More starting one out uh, that my views will be low starting out and lose money. You probably will. If you don't have a way to advertise Maggie, you probably will lose money in the beginning. That's part of business though. There's a lot of businesses that start up and they don't make money for the first couple years. Um, I think a lot of people don't understand that about businesses. Um, not all the time are you gonna be 100% profitable all the time. Sometimes you gotta lose money. There's times on our whatnot shows, we purposely lose money to grow our audience. For example, every 20 pairs of shoes we sell, we give away a free pair of shoes. I'm, I know I'm losing money on those free pair of shoes, but I'm okay with it because I know that's growing the audience. I'm perfectly fine with you know losing money. And it's also fun to give stuff away. So when you first start whatnot, have an expectation that your stuff might not sell for the price you want them to sell for. But if your average buy cost on your product is $3, start your auctions at $3. That way, if you do lose any money, it's a very, very small amount. So you don't lose a ton. So appreciate you, Stephanie. Thank you for that. Lost leaders. Exactly. And we have lost leaders too. I'll purposely put a new with tag product that I paid $50 for and started at a dollar and like hype the crap out of it because then I know it brings in the audience to the show. And even if I lose money on that piece, I know I'm going to make money on other pieces. It's all, it's all part of the plan. Next up, oh wait, did I ship out the wrong thing? I did it again, didn't I? No, I didn't. This is fine. Um, Eileen Fisher cardigan paid um, $6.96 for this one. It sold for $29.99 plus ship. Buyers all in for $46. Bucks. Really good sale again. Um, does buyer pay for shipping? Yes. You can opt to have yourself pay for shipping or you can cap them. So after they hit five pounds, you pay shipping after that too. Um, but um, I do buyer pay shipping for everything because typically we don't get a lot of people that pay, you know, buy more than five pounds worth of stuff. So um, I started selling my death pile old inventory on whatnot to get quick sales and get rid of it all. That's a good, that's a good way to get rid of, um, get rid of like old stale inventory that's sitting around. One key I'll tell you guys is I, I said this from the beginning when we first started whatnot. Um, and I see a lot of people doing it. Do not bring your junk to whatnot. There's a lot of people that will have bad buys and they'll just be like, all right, I'll just offload this on whatnot. And then they'll sell it on whatnot and they'll sell it all for a dollar. And they'll be like, I lost money on that stuff. Well, you, cause you brought the junk that you didn't even want to sell yourself. And you're thinking that somebody on whatnot is going to pay up for a piece that you knew that wasn't going to sell on eBay. It doesn't make any sense to me. Bring the stuff that you know is going to sell on eBay, bring the good inventory that you didn't pay a bunch for, but you'll be able to maybe lose a little bit or only gain a little bit of money on it. Um, bring that stuff, bring that stuff. Sorry, I just lost connection because somebody called me. All right, we're back. Sorry about that. I got a call. So TikTok, my bad. Uh, what do you use to keep up with inventory? I use a spreadsheet. It's Jason Hayes spreadsheet. It's linked in my bio. It keeps up with all my inventory costs, all my sales, my monthly totals, my daily totals, my yearly totals. With that spreadsheet, I can keep up with all of my income from whatnot and eBay, Poshmark, Mercari separately. I can also keep up with all of my um, income from social media too. It separates that out for me. So I have all of that tied into that spreadsheet. Um, that's linked in my bio. I would only promote it if I use it and I do use the crap out of that spreadsheet. So if you're interested, link in my bio. Next up, we got a, um, really good item. Most of you would probably pass on this, but this is a vintage banana Republic shirt. Vintage is key. Don't pick up regular banana Republic. It'll sit forever. So I paid $6.40 for this. This is a Pearl Snap, I believe. Yes, Pearl Snap. Denim, Banana Republic shirt. Paid $6.40. It sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Key is, it's vintage. So, should pay for shipping again to the buyer. Um, failed delivery. Hey, I had one of my first eBay order returned to me because of failed delivery. Um, if it got returned to you because of failed delivery, you're just going to refund the buyer. And then if they want to buy it again, they got to pay for shipping again. That's not your fault. It's the, either the post office fault or the person's fault that I was going to deliver to. 
Um, are you using a thermal printer? Uh, no, the um, the label printer that's linked in my bio is an IDPRT. It is very similar to the one that I use. Um, the Dymo 5XL is the new one that came out. They don't sell the 4XL anymore, and you can only use Dymo labels on it. So because of that, I do not have that one linked because the Dymo labels are more expensive. So I linked a lower cost thermal printer for those new people that are coming on. It's a good one. Um, one of my buddies, Chris at Peak, he uses it. He loves it. No complaints out of him. So um, IDPRT, it's linked to my bio. You sell more on eBay than Poshmark. eBay by far. I can give you my numbers for this year really quick in a second, and I can show you the difference between the two. Poshmark has been dying slowly for me. Um, very, 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 actually very fast for me. It's been, it's been dying. Um, this year on eBay, we've done $19,377.64 in sales, 511 total sales. Poshmark $2,711 in sales on 79 sales. So as you can see, there's a big discrepancy between both. Um, last year too, there was a big discrepancy on both between eBay and Poshmark for the whole year. Like eBay is like almost like eight times bigger than Poshmark is every single year, year after year. Had she returns on eBay Authenticator because FedEx damaged the box. That happened to me too, and it sucks. There's nothing you can do about it. Um, now you can relist them with the damage on the box, and if they sell again, then it'll go through perfectly fine. So. Yeah, it sucks. There's there's nothing you can do with that. It's not your fault, and they won't take it because they can't sell it through the um, program. Next up, um, Mizzen and Main shirt paid seven forty seven for this one. Just a short sleeve tropical Mizzen and Main shirt sold for twenty plus ship, and it sold within a week. Nice little quick sale on that one. Hard work does pay off. Um, how can you tell if it's vintage? That's a, just an older label. If you look up vintage Banana Republic, you'll notice the vintage ones have that label, and there's a couple other ones you look out for. But basically, the label is what tells me that that's a vintage piece. All right, this one's going to ship for seven ounces. Nice, lightweight piece. Throw that in. Ship it out. $4.43 is what I'm paying for shipping. Buyer paid $6.75. I feel like the 20-year-olds um, buy mostly on eBay and Depop. Yes, there's actually everybody buys on, on eBay. Tons and tons of people buy on eBay every every month. The the newer, um, younger crowd also buys on Poshmark, but like I said, Poshmark has been dying for me. Make sure I didn't miss anything on IG. I don't think I did. Consignment, yeah, if you're interested in consignment, I do have a post on Instagram. It's my pin post about what non consignment. It does currently say that we're taking long sleeve items. I have to revise it. Um, hopefully today or tomorrow I'll do that. Um, and then, um, but right now we're taking short sleeves. We're no longer taking long sleeve items. It's all gonna be short sleeves. Next up, we got a pair of Peter Millar corduroy pants. Picked these up for $9.72 and they sold for $35 doll hairs. I'm um, going to Panama City, Florida on the weekend. Any suggestions? I've never actually, I don't think I've ever been to Panama City, so I don't have any suggestions. Um, in that area, probably like Goodwills and Salvation Armies are probably the best to go to. Um, I don't know if they have any red, white, and blues there. They do look them up, see if they have red, white, and blues. Yeah, my Poshmark sales are dead too. My my I had five. I think five Mercari sales this weekend, four or five, and I had one Poshmark. And I'm doing the same stuff that I'm doing on all platforms that I'm doing on Poshmark. It's just not working. So I don't know. I don't know. Poshmark is dying slowly. It's going to go ground advantage for 802. Um, my reasonable ship rating uh, keeps going down on eBay. I use calculated shipping and pre weigh everything. My reasonable ship rating. My reasonable ship rating. What is a reasonable ship rating? I don't even know what that is. Reasonable, is that like the time you ship? Maybe you're shipping too late? Reasonable ship rating. Oh, like, oh, you're, you mean like um, people are rating you and they're saying that your your price for your shipping is too high? There's nothing you can do about that. People just don't understand how much it costs to ship items these days. Like to ship those um, pants, buyer paid over $10 to ship those pants. That's not our fault. That's the post office's fault for charging too much. So. There's nothing you can do about that. If you're charging calculated shipping and it's, you know, you're shipping from Florida to California and it costs some, somebody $15 to ship something that would only cost $7 if you shipped it in Florida, there's nothing you can do. Um, you could pass the discounted rate on to the customer, but I never suggest to do that. Just um, just ignore the reasonable ship because again, you don't, you don't, you don't decide what the price is going to be. If it was, it would be a dollar for everything, right? Um, next up, Carrots Leggings. These are uh, really good. Kayla just picked these up. $4.26. They sold for $22.49 plus shipping. Carrots is spelled K-E-R-R-I-T-S. Yep, how do you control? 
Is the Poshmark platform, is it the Poshmark platform in a season slower sales? I think it's the platform. Um, Poshmark sales have been going down over the last couple of years, for me at least. Poshmark used to be hot. I used to sell, sell a ton on Poshmark, but same, same inventory being brought to Poshmark that's being brought to the other websites. It's selling on the other sites, but not on Poshmark. So that tells you that it is a Poshmark issue. It's gonna ship for 507. Carrots is a bolo. Um, you also saw Mercari too, yes. And I'm using, um, again, I'm not promoting this yet because I don't know how well it's gonna work, but I'm using Auto Posture to move some of my listings from, um, from eBay and Poshmark to Mercari just to test out the functions and all that stuff because I have access early um, to test it out. Um, I'm seeing how it goes, um, but right now it's, it's working out good. I'm able to move the inventory over. Um, so yeah, um, bringing it over, seeing how it sells and it's actually increasing my sales on Mercari, which is a good thing. I wasn't, I wasn't cross listing earlier this year and now I'm testing out the functionality. So I might as well just cross list the stuff that I don't have cross listed. And I'm doing that with, um, with auto posture. But again, it's not out yet. It's only out for certain people to cross list. So don't go run and get auto posture because you don't know whether it's going to be a pickup or not. I'll let you guys know how it works out when it gets released, which is in like another couple weeks. Next up, Absolute Rebellion. I, I'm not going to pick up this brand again. This one took too long to sell. Paid 803. It sold for 22. I've had it listed for like six months. What was that you just packed up? Carrots. Carrots Leggings. K E R R I T S is the brand. Wow, it's in test already. Yes, but not at all the functions are out. I'm still waiting for. There's going to be a function where you list inside of Auto Posture and cross list from there. Um, that isn't out yet. So like all the all the functions are not out yet. So. I am, uh, I'm not going to promote it and it's also got to work really good. There's already been a couple little glitches here and there. So once she gets that all figured out, if there's no more glitches and it all works perfectly and everything's working fine, then of course I'll promote it. But I don't want to talk about it too much and like get people hyped up. And then, you know, in two weeks I tell everybody like, look, I'm still staying with list perfectly. And then people are like, dang, I was really excited. So that's why I don't I try not to talk about it too much. But I do get a lot of questions on it, obviously every day, I pretty much get questions on it. How does the bundle shipping work on Mercari shipping wise? I use Mercari shipping. So um, when they bundle the order, the the label cost should go up on their end and then they just pay for the label and then you get it sent to your email and then ship it out that way. Um, I haven't had too many bundle orders. I think that's how my last one worked. Um, but that was like a couple months ago. 11th, um, like she originally put out, he, from what I understand, yes. But I'm again, I'm not, the, I'm not the creator. So you have to talk to her. Maybe DM her and ask her if it's gonna come out on the 11th. I think for the people that are already have auto posture, then you get it, you get early access. Again, it's going to be like a test round. You'll get it for like a week or two. And then after that, that's when you'll purchase it from what I understand. But again, that could be bad information because I'm just assuming that's what she's saying. I just got it early, so I don't really know. Um, I wore new shoes, KOA t-shirt work today. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I love that. I love when people are saying like they're getting their shoes quick and it's, you know, they're wearing them right away. That's awesome. Uh, what is your main site I cannot find in your bio? My main site I sell on is um, Whatnot right now. It's linked in my bio if you go get your free $15. That if you click on my bio, go to Whatnot, it says Whatnot, sell, um, whatnot Buyer, sign up, $15 credit, click here. That's in my bio. Um, yeah. At the IDPR, uh, IDPRT following your recommendation works great. I bought from eBay. There you go. IDPRT works. All right. Now we got some um, little, like, uh, little pieces to ship out. I where I put the boxes though. There they are. All right, so this isn't a amazing sale, but I got these basically for free. So this is a little Lemax figure. Um, I paid nothing for it because I bought it in a bulk buy a while ago. I've already made all my money back. So cost of goods on this is zero. Um, this one sold for $7.20 plus shipping. I'm just gonna throw this into a box and ship it out. So Macari slower for me. Yeah, Macari has been better for me over the last few weeks. I guess it really depends on what you sell though. My husband loves his shoes. Let's go. Appreciate you, Michelle. Yeah, we got lots of new ones coming in the next week. Probably tomorrow. I think we're going to do a show. Are you going live thrifting? Yes, we're going live thrifting on this Wednesday. We'll be live at Red, White, and Blue again. All right. I just need some bubble wrap. Throw it in there. And this will be good to go. Easy shipping on that one. Easy shipping on that one. How's everybody's sales, by the way? How's all your sales this weekend? I know I asked in the beginning, but we got a we got a different crowd in here now. So let me know 
what you sold, what was your best sale this weekend? I'll shout it out if I see it. Um, but yeah, we had a pretty good weekend this weekend. This is an 8 by 6 by 4 $4.68. Where can I see your shoes? They're going to be on my whatnot show. My next whatnot show, I'll let you guys know. If you follow me on IG, I'll let you guys know when the next show is. I don't have it scheduled. I actually have no show scheduled right now. I'm going to start scheduling shows today. But um, yeah, all the shoes will be loaded in our next show. You'll be able to see photos of them, and then you can request to see them up close too. Best weekend I had so far. Let's go. Do you recommend getting a CPA for eBay taxes? Yes, I do recommend getting some kind of tax professional to help you out with your taxes. Um, good. 12 orders. Best sale. Uh, jacket Flint and Tinder. Really good brand. Really, really good brand. Car bibs for 75. Nice. Um, do you have luck selling Tommy Muhammad men's jeans? No, I normally just um, sell the Hawaiian shirts. Your name on IG? I'm Kway Shop on all platforms. IG, in, um, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, all of them. Um, Kway Shop, same name. Uh, bought new inbox. Wood Kitchen at Good, uh, Goodwill for 80. Sold for 240. Holy cow. Nice. Picked up a hat for a dollar. Sold for 98. Let's go. Lemax does sell well. It used to sell better like two years ago. Um, during the pandemic, Lemax would sell like hotcakes because people had all this extra money and they were like, I'm going to buy random figures on, on eBay. But now they're not selling as well. It's a little bit harder to sell figures. So in the train buyout, I'm going to show you a bunch of trains that sold. But in the train buyout, I bought this um, this was in one of the boxes. It's a vintage Z Toys die cast car. It's still new and packaged, but they cut the top off. Um, this one still sold for $10 plus shipping. This is just like a throw in. So I made $10 on, on an item that was just thrown in, which is pretty cool. Only six sales over the weekend, but had a couple good ones. Nice. Sold five items, part time seller. Two of those items were Masters cosmetics bag. Sold within 48 hours. Master stuff is selling. Master stuff is selling. Bonobos Blazer sold in three minutes. 135 let's go one of my favorite blazers to pick up is bonobos you sell are you selling those shoes now we are on our next show we'll be selling it we we'll selling it by the way is that debrew debrew i i um hit you uh i hit you on um uh on uh email hit me back on email i need your uh paypal info your stuff should all be updated on the spreadsheet too Hit me back. I want to pay you. I got your money. I'm ready. I'm ready when you are. I think if you already hit me back, I haven't looked at my email yet. Um, found new attack Patagonia under the yard sale flame. Long sleeve for ten dollars. Nice, nice. All right, that die car, die cast car is going to ship out for six doll hairs. All right, six ounces. Sorry, six ounces. Eight by six by four. And whoops. It is shipping for four dollars and forty-seven cents. Gotcha. That one's going in a nice little eBay box. I get these free with my quarterly coupon. I'm almost out of these actually. I actually ordered a bunch of shoe boxes this time because I need them for my whatnot shows. All right, now here comes the fun part. The rest of the orders are all train orders except for one polo, but I gotta grab it, so I'm not gonna ship it on this live. And did I miss you? No, I didn't miss you, Trisha. But you're back. We appreciate you coming back. All right. Um, let me turn these over because I have to figure out which one goes where. Actually, I got to figure out if anybody bought multiples. This person bought multiples. Yes, they did. Holy cow, they bought a ton. All right, let's ship out this one first since this guy didn't buy multiples. Um, this one right here. All right, first train that sold is in this box. I'm not probably going to show all the trains, but here's what it looks like. It's just a... Train, just like that. Uh, this one sold for, I think 17, or $13. $13 plus shipping. I paid $3.25 for all of these trains I'm about to show you, $3.25 each. Do you have any high top sneakers? We do. We do have high top sneakers. We have um, Converse. Uh, we also have some Jordans that are high tops. Yes, we don't have any like Jordan ones, obviously. Jordan one highs because those retail for way more than 59 bucks. Um, but yeah, we have like mids, stuff like that. All right, this one, let me make some room on my desk because I'm gonna need some room to wrap these up. This I'm just gonna throw into some bubble wrap, throw it in a poly bag and ship it out. That's how I ship out all of my trains. Really easy, just like that. Grab a poly bag, ship it out. It'll make it there in one piece. Oh, this person bought two. Shoot, 
Um, okay, well, let me find out what this one is, too. I'll throw them both in the same package. Ship them together. A lot of these train buyers are buying multiples, so i got to be careful and make sure I ship them all together. This person bought this one. This one is a 470 cubic hopper. Here's the other train they bought. Again, I'm not going to take these out. They pretty much all look similar, so... Um, this one's going to go into bubble wrap and then I'll ship these out together. They bought them separately, so I'm going to have to click on it and do the combined shipping on this one. Do you promote on eBay? I promote everything at 3% or 5%. Sorry. Promote all my listings. Every single one doesn't matter what it is. I promote everything at 5% and not all my sales go via promoted listing. So can't wait to get more mids for $70 stealing from the rich. Yes. You got a good deal on those. But sir, just understand, I got those for cheaper than that. So, we're still making money, honey. That's all that matters. We're making money, honey. You're going to like those. I think you bought them for yourself, right? You're going to like those mids. Um, this one. All right, this is what the package looks like. Boom. And all I have to do is throw a label on it, and we're good to go. But again, I have to put both of these in the same package. So, this one's this guy. And this guy, shipping, purchase shipping labels, combine, combine, and then this is going to ship out for one pound. So it's going to go ground advantage for $6.16. Money, honey. Lies. Um, can you promote um, items already listed? Yes. You just have to click. Um, you can set up an automated promotion. And it'll automatically promote all your listings for you. That's what I do. So when AutoPostal relists, it automatically promotes them for me. We gotta hurry up and ship because we still gotta ship out all of our. Um, we gotta ship out all of our whatnot orders still. I gotta hustle. I gotta hustle, chat. Selling orders, waiting shipment. All right, this is what it looks like after I'm done packing this one up. Um, I haven't had any of these break, so that's what they look like. They ship out nice and easy. Go into the customer. All right, let me see who has multiple orders. I think there's two more people with trains, and both of them have multiple orders. Let me find out which ones these are. S-O-O. -O. That's this one right here. And 40 foot. That one right there. So here's two more trains going to the same customer, or going to this. Yeah, they're shipping to the same customer. They paid twelve dollars plus shipping each on these, and I'm gonna ship them again in a poly bag. So we should be hanging out today too. Got lots of people in the chat and all the chats. How do you store items in storage? Plastic bags or no? Yes, for my um, clothing items, they all get stored in clear pl uh, plastic bags that are also linked in my bio. You can buy them straight from Amazon through the products we use on a daily basis link so yep they get stored in there i do store them in my garage it is humid in florida so that's a way we can keep them in good condition while they're in storage and again all the products we use are linked there so if you ever need bags or anything like that we always have those um two house phones one movie blu-ray 1917 nice what's up what's up blunty welcome in we're almost done shipping we only have i think two more orders left and then we're done so we joined a little late but at least you're here all right, this one is going to go again, poly bag, and it's going to ship out this way, right here. Boom, boom, just got to get it to slide on in there. We're good to go. Um, your first full year on eBay, eBay, what was your gross total? That's a good question. So my first full year on eBay, I started in September. So um, I started September. By the end of the year, I did like 7,000 in sales. My second year on eBay, I I think if I can remember correctly, I did like 90K in sales the second year. Um, it was either 90 or 100, I can't remember. Um, yeah, so I hope that helps. I can go back on my tax returns and figure out exactly what I paid. I just don't remember that far back. Poly back, yes. Felix, I have, I've shipped out, um, I've shipped out um, like 200 trains now. Um, the last 70 or so I've shipped out in poly bags and they've all arrived perfectly fine no damage at all so the box just adds too much weight by the way what's up felix felix been playing fortnite with us let me catch you some dubs with him some dubs what did you just pack these are both trains what well, uh what's a train it's just like one of those the train is like one of those like uh, collectible pieces that sit on the track 
and they have the little car that pulls it and they have the, the cars behind it. What the collectors do is they buy all the cars that go behind it. So that's what we got here. Little trains. All right, the next order, I might have to do off the live too because I forgot to grab a box for these. So um, I can show you what they are and I can show you what the buyer paid for them. But this is my last sale anyway. How many um, posts per day for the second year? The second year we did, um, I used to do like five to 10 listings per day. Um, it just depended on how much time I had. Um, Cause I still worked a full time job at that point in time. How do you store items in storage plus? Oh, I already answered that. Choo -choo. So you buy single trains? No, this was a, this was a, um, a collector. Um, I bought out his whole collection. So I filled up a whole U-Haul full of trains from uh, a collector. I paid $6,500 for all these trains. We're just starting to get them listed. I bought them like over a year ago. We're just starting to get them listed. So yeah. All right. So this last buyer had bought five trains off me. Here is all of them that they bought. All five. Um, they paid I don't even know what the total they paid for them is. It's over $100 for all these trains. And I paid $3.25 each, um, and they paid plus shipping on all these. So now I have to package them up, but I don't have a box for these, so I'm going to have to grab it. Um, and then I also have one more polo to ship. It's a Bad Birdie polo. I have to grab that one, too. I paid $31 each for the Bad Birdie polos. That one sold for $58.49 plus shipping. So those are my last two sales. I'm not going to be able to do it. Locomotives, I do have locomotives in that buyout i haven't started listing them yet those are where the money's at the locomotives because those are the pieces that actually drag the trains across so yeah holy hannah that was a good good train buyout is there a market for old train 70 without boxes yes 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 um make sure you look them up there's tons tons of uh tons of really good trains out there and you can sell them without the boxes these are actually not the boxes that most of these trains actually came in um, i make sure i put that in the listing so this is a different box because they put a different label on the outside um, people don't really care though. They, they just want to have a box of storm away in. So, all right, chat, I'm going to go ahead and head off. I got to ship out the rest of these and we got to ship out the rest of your whatnot orders. All that stuff over there is all whatnot orders we got to ship. So appreciate you guys hanging out. Um, I'll probably be live tomorrow morning, um, shipping out orders. So make sure you come back tomorrow morning, um, see what sold for me today. And I'll make sure I put out a piece of content today. So make sure you look out for that. Um, that should be out later today. I just got to put over a voiceover over it and we're good to go. So appreciate you guys hanging out. We'll catch you later. Peace.